Welcome guys to another video on my channel today. I try to make a calculator in Visual C Sharp and I've done a little bit of the work here already before and so I've made a calculator class which contains um, two lists in the calculate function. One that will contain all, all of the operators and the other list will contain um, the other parts of the calculation like the numbers between the operators and stuff that is in uh, parentheses or something and it yeah, will return the final value uh, at the moment it's just a placeholder these data types uh, will will have a, a char assigned one of these and all the or the child classes will then have each one of those and uh, will contain a calculate function um, which, which uh, then uh, can calculate two of the values with, with the given um, operator. I hope that makes sense what I just said. <laughs> so here is um, the parenthesis class, but it's a calc part. It's uh, this thing here. It has um, a, an input and can set the input. At first, I uh, wanted to do the calculation in the setter, but then I added the get output function with has to be added in the child classes, like here in the calc parenthesis, which will just uh, instantiate a new uh, calculator object and then call the calculate function with the input given here. And yeah, here's the calc number uh, object which is also a child part of the calc part of the child object of the calc part class uh, child class, sorry. It will <laughs> just output the uh, a pass double of the input because uh, the input is a string yeah. and yeah so what I have to do now is all the stuff I've uh, commented here so I have to generate all th those both uh, lists out of the calculation ca calculation string up here and perhaps I should just uh, start with that so this for loop will just uh, go through all of the entries in uh, the calculation string. And before I do that I will uh, check if the first um, digit or no digit is in a number. Uh, the first char is, is an operator and if that uh, is so then I will just uh, add the last result to uh, the parts list down here. Okay, so that is done, but what I should do right at the beginning actually is if the calculation actually is just uh, one or zero digits long, then it will just um, return a past uh, or re just return the value of calculation and the hope <laughs> that it is a number. <laughs> Perhaps I should Let's try pass. Okay, so I will generate a double here and so the result will be changed. So what I also have to do is returning the result and here I will also return the result at the end. So no, no. What should happen is when I type in here any, any number that is small. Okay, that didn't work. 
Oh, because less than one. But it has to be less or equal one. Okay, I have to uh, rebuild the solution. And now it shows for. Okay, that works. And if I type in an higher value, then it returns zero. Okay, that's correct. So now this will work because there will always be one char. So I will just um, print out temp number. So I will type like one, two, three, four, five, and I'll have to type something else. Calculate, and it didn't seem to go in here. That's weird. Oh, okay. You know, because I have to rebuild the project. Cannot print it, 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 but it's totally wrong. So I have to fix it. Okay, so now I've fixed it. I made it completely different. So I've just so I just call the pass function. It's simpler. Okay, let's try some different values. And well, that didn't work, but probably because the local is set wrong. Oh, wait a second, I have to check how to uh, change the local. Okay, I found a solution that will set the um, current culture, current UI culture to English, yeah, United States, each time the calculate function uh, will be called. Okay, actually I will add here an R. I is greater or equal. Calculation dot length minus one here. Okay, that didn't work. Interesting. Yeah, to check here that I is smaller than calculation dot length minus one. Oh, okay.
yes, that did work. So if I do one, two, three, four, dot, two, that should work too, yes. Plus, um, Okay, yes, that seemed to work. Now I have to implement that um, everything in parentheses won't get printed out here because uh, that should uh, be calculated um, Differently, not in uh, this list here. And indeed, what I haven't done yet is actually saving the number here. TMP number. I will print that and I will add that to the parts list. Okay, and indeed, it will not be parsed. That should still work. Yes, indeed. have to actually uh, generate those classes so we'll add class return value 1 plus value 2 turn 5 operators add new calc plus Okay, what 
will I do here? Because it should use the next value and only the next value if there's no um, parentheses. So I will give it as 7. So what I have to do now is to implement that I to add those parentheses. Okay, it will work. Yes, it will work. Okay, and if I forget this, then there will be a syntax error thrown. Okay. Okay, that works. Okay, I think I will stop there for today and I will upload the next part of the development anytime soon. See you next time.